after the first Joker and he meets Harley Quinn played by Lady Gaga. We sat through the film and it SUCKED! Jesus, you just scared the shit out of me! I don't even know where to begin with this film. I blame myself for even saying yes to this despite overwhelmingly negative reviews. I mean, unlike Morbius, where I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I was like, yeah, I can give this up in mind. I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Ugh, just... Yeah, Dean, take it away. Honestly, this movie was an insult to the first one and to the, the, the comic book character. Yeah, say what you will about the first one, but at least it, at least it was a well-made film. This, on the other hand, is a heaping mess. Yeah. Yeah, until I know both audience and critics... Yeah, they didn't like it. If they can agree on something, it's either something really good and really bad, and this is in a really, really bad apartment. Why <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, Why the hell am I laughing? Why did I? I think the bigger question is why did we waste two hours of our life of our life for this film? And I actually wish I I want my money back. I went the two hours of my goddamn life back, but I ain't getting those back. Yeah, yeah. It's like I mean, at least the first film had something to offer, but this didn't. And yeah, what you told me that you felt you were watching. Go ahead. Look. It's torture porn. It's utter, utter torture porn. It didn't, it didn't feel like it. It is torture porn. You know, as much as I enjoyed the Saw movies, everyone says those are torture porn, but no, no. But at least the Saw films actually have a story. And and the torture scenes were actually kind of creative. And yeah, yeah, at least you feel something for these characters, I mean, besides this camera, so I saw X, but that's beside the point. Here, it's just torture porn for the sake of torture porn. Yeah, and... Yeah, I mean, we can't say anything, anything about its story because it's honestly non-existent. Yeah. <sighs> because uh, I can't remember what the movie's about, what this whole movie's okay. about. Even Camille Dolmat, uh, shout uh, out to him. Uh, yes. Was, was joining us. He likes a lot of films. He hated this one. That should tell you something. Yeah, and because you almost thought this would lead up for Batman, but no Batman. I mean, I kind of knew about this, but the way it was edited, it's just what the fuck. And I am so and nervous. Like I think everyone in that theater. Shared in the in the fact that they hated this movie and there wasn't a lot of people. That is not a good sign. Yeah, th there was barely any people in the in the theater. There was only a few, but not a lot. It's like nobody wanted to see this film. Oh, and allegedly, there was never a screen a test screening for this movie for this fucking movie. Yeah, it's not a joke. I mean, I found out about it on Twitter or X or whatever you we call it Twitter. Yeah, we. <sighs> Yeah, on Twitter, there was no test screen, and it's... Okay, no pun intended, it's not a joke. Just and also, this whole movie is a fucking joke. I mean, pardon my French. I swear to God, this film is so bad. You know those... You ever go to a store, you see a... Like a kid who's possibly like five or six, screaming and crying or jumping up and down like... Because they didn't get the toy they wanted or, the, or get candy or whatever the fuck. 
Yeah. That was me with the spell. It's that fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, me. A man. A year away from 30. And I'm only 31 years old, but that's... Acting in frustration like a five-year-old. A movie that bad should not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Say what you will about Morbius, but at least it's bad due to an anomaly reason. This is just bad because because Warner Brothers thought they could make an easy cash grab. And look where that got them! Yeah, it's like the studio demanded a sequel. This was... The first one was intended to be only one movie, but the studio's like, no, let's make another one! I mean, I personally wouldn't mind a sequel, but... It had to be good. It's not good. It's like... I wouldn't be surprised if there was, no, there was hardly a script for this one. Just like Transformers Revenge of the Fallen having lack of script. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not fair. Because at least Revenge of the Fallen had some appeal. Some. Okay. This doesn't. Yeah. And also... And also, Harley Quinn's in this, but she's just known as Lee. Just Lee. But... And do, do they end up together? <laughs> well... You haven't... You haven't drank enough fucking cat... You haven't, you haven't drank enough fucking cat juice Okay, yet. we're gonna spoil... You know what? We don't care. We're gonna spoil the ending. They don't. Why? Because he said, no, I'm not joking no, I'm just off a flag. And this she's like, you know what, fuck you, we're breaking up. Yeah, she just leaves. Oh, and you know what the best part was? What? You wanna know how the movie ends? Go ahead. He's back in the psych ward and uh, someone kills him. The end. That's literally how it ends. It's like uh, if Spider Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2, uh, in the part where he's Spider-Man no more, ends with uh, Peter Parker getting run over. Oh! It's literally this film. Well, at least Spider-Man 2, he actually became Spider-Man at the end. I mean, in the climax. Of yeah, and there's just a million other movies I would rather see than this pile of garbage. Ugh. We weren't supposed to make a movie review of this, but this film is awful! Do I really need to say any more? You know... Yeah, yeah, like, it was just, and last thing to talk about is that cartoon at the beginning. I'm like, wait, what, what the hell is this? A Looney Tunes, uh, yeah, it was kind of pointless. It was, it didn't add anything to the, oh, oh, don't worry. It gets much worse. Uh, okay, say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we forgot to mention there's singing in this movie. I mean, we kind of knew about the singing part, but this. It didn't really add to the plot. It was just, oh, woe is me type of crap. And I don't feel sorry for the character. I but, mean, but the but first one, regardless of, regardless of how you feel about it, at least there was some reason for you to pity Arthur. Here, there isn't. It's just... I think even the director hated making this pro project. He just wanted to say, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Ugh. I guess if it, I guess it was so, so a director came with the end. It's like you know what, fuck this. I'm done with. I'm done with this. Just yeah, it, he, it, and he probably doesn't want to do a third one either. Yeah, hence why he killed a Joker at the end. Oh, uh, the and the quote. You know what? You know what I can't help think of. Go ahead. That's the infamous quote from Cartman. Yeah, you guys, I'm a going home. Or Stan Marsh when he walked out of Passion of the Christ. Yeah, that's me with this film. How do they even call it a movie? It wasn't a fucking movie, it was a snuff film. You can't rob people of their hard-earned money just to see a man get tortured for hours. More like two hours and a half. Uh, you know what, and you know, that's how we feel. So let's just give out our final verdict. F minus blacklist!
Oh, just like the Flash getting on the blacklist? Fuck yes. But that's not fair. Say it's not, say it's not fair one more time, I dare you. Very good. <laughs> Dean, give, give your opinion. Yeah, it... I mean, I, I almost didn't want to see it, but unfortunately, like, Camille wants to see it. Oh, like, it's not Camille's fault. He, he didn't know it was going to be this... He, he didn't know it was going to be this bad. So, no, we love you, Camille. You're our best friend. But yeah, we're, you're our family. Yeah, but nothing appealing about this film. I mean... I think even Camille and, knows this. And, 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 I, throughout the whole film, I was like, like this. I was just blank. I was literally blank. Yeah, and I and I just I hated the ending. Really hated how the film ended. It was like a big middle finger to the audience, like, "Oh, you like the first one? Well, fuck you. We're just getting so." Yeah, just. Mm. Yeah, right, yeah. Again, my rating is an F minus. I, 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 I'm, I'm done. I, I quit. Okay, I don't not not quitting from movie theaters, like. Yeah, we'll we'll get more. We'll see more good movies, hopefully. And also, yeah, after the credits roll, he just walked out immediately. And I usually don't. Like not later, just immediately. And he talked to other people who walked out of this theater too, and they weren't happy with it either. Like nobody was happy with this film when we walked out. There was no cheering, no. Okay, there was some laughs, but nothing. And I didn't smile. Not once. I was pretty much being a frowner. Yeah. So, so I think we already know what we're going to say at this point. Skip this film. And, and probably go watch better sequels than this. And, so, and, you know what, and yeah, we're not going to have time to talk about Travis because we're just, we're exhausted. So yeah, this is Brock. And Dean... A light post film signing off, and hopefully we'll get something better. See you next time, everybody. <sighs> Goodbye.